Welcome to Tabletop Talk. Top. <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Topic. <laughs> I'm Dark Skin Roach. And I'm Light Skin Roach. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> the infestation has begun. It will not end. We've been monitoring Earth for 3,000 years. And now we are taking over. We have deemed you suitable to be assimilated in. Roachology. Roachology. <laughs> oh, What's up, man? Happy Halloween. Happy man. Halloween, How's guys. Going, Yay. Yeah. It's Halloween, guys. Finally. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah, that is fire. It's the first time I've been off on Halloween. Really? Yeah, usually I close like the night of so I can take down the Halloween shit Word. and put up all the... Uh, Christmas stuff. So this is the first Halloween where I'm actually. Uh, hey, all that extra candy, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. You could give it to the roaches. <laughs> <laughs> you could give it to the roaches. Uh, man. Shit, man. So, no, so like, what brought this on? Like, because I know throughout since we started this, mm-hmm. I've always compared like humanity to roaches and shit. Oh, yeah, you know of course. But, no, like, yeah. But like, before we even get to that, like, I want to talk about, you know, Famous roaches, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's start off with uh. Oh yeah, yeah. It came out in 1997. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can't remember his name, but he's one of the only ones that I know to the point where uh, Agent J was getting kicked around by him because he was stepping on his family members. And he's all, like, what? all how many? Oh, 7,800 oh, million, of them. 7, million of them. 7,800 million of them. <laughs> I'm like what the fuck? Oh man, that's Shit. but honestly, that was such a good premise. Like especially out of all types of aliens, yeah, that's the one that they done, chose, like a cockroach. Because I know when they did when they did land on Earth a uh, 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 hundred million years ago or so, that they um, that they were big but not that size. So Word. it was a uh, it was amazing that he says there's an entire plant seventy eight million roaches in giant his massive roaches. giant massive roaches. But it's like I feel like they're the closest things to being like us, like in terms of being unkillable and ever proliferating. Which is nuts to me because oh by the way guys if you don't know what we're dressed up as we're uh, we're cockroaches we're cockroaches. <laughs> I think. <laughs> hey hey I'm just saying hey. some people might think we're fleas. That's our cousin, but you know. I'm trying to be into Oh, fleas? No, yeah. that's fa- yeah, bro. No. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? Flea from uh, Mucha Lucha. Shit, if you guys call me flea, that's racist. Mucha Lucha, right? That's racist. That's species. That's species. That's roaches. That's sis. roaches. That's roaches. Hell yeah. I'm just, I'm just fixing my. <laughs> Wait, you know bed bugs are part of the roach family? Yeah, we don't claim them. Really? Oh, that's terrible. That's like your second cousin uh, after removed. Yeah, that's why we don't claim them. <laughs> 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 bite my uh, shit, blood man. sucking ass motherfuckers. No, I'm telling you. But uh, no, what were you saying? Go ahead. Yeah, so like, I don't know. I just thought that was like a pretty cool premise. Like, I never thought how terrifying a roach could be. Because like, roaches like can withstand 900 times the pressure force of like, of like any compression. Like 900 times the yeah. force of any compression. That's why it feels like when you smack a roach and it doesn't die and it just keeps You're like, what away. the fuck? What Didn't the I fuck just step on, on you? Right. Um, or even when you cut their head off, they keep moving. They keep moving. They can live seven days without their head. Mm-hmm. They can go seven days without water, one month without food. Yep, which is why you try to starve them or... Um, no, no, no. You try to remove the source of water. Or get the liquid bait, like I was about to say. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I know some people oh, yeah, get... poison, the, of course. Yeah, of course. yeah. Liquid poison. Wait, because, why are we giving away the secrets on how to stop us? terrible don't we, use we figured it out don't use that's poison. why we avoid it 
We hate water. Yeah. We don't need that shit. You should give us as much as much. What the fuck? What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. Like, honestly, I think they could have expanded on his abilities better instead of just being a giant roach that eats things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because technically it was just a regular giant roach that talked. Right. Well, he was sentient, he was sentient, so... He was sentient, right, right. Yeah, it was like a higher shit. intelligence. Oh, yeah, for sure, shit. for sure. You know what I'm saying? But, like, one example of roaches that really achieved peak expectations mm-hmm. were the ones from Terraformers, or Terraformars. Terraformers. Terraformers. Yeah. Um, pretty much a select group of highly skilled people, you know, who had been merged with uh, insect DNA, Um so they can combat. Right. So they can in- boost their stats and mm-hmm. skills and stuff. Who are essentially sent on a mission to Mars um, to set up, like, a, a colony. Mm-hmm. But what they didn't tell them is that, hey, Mars is infested with roaches. But they're not just regular roaches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're, su- they're super roaches. <laughs> they're god tier. They're demigod roaches, mm-hmm. bro. Oh, my gosh. You're blessed with it. Superhuman Human agility, strength. Yeah. strength, like my goodness! It's, they call me Arnold Rogenega. It's amazing, bro. Uh, and, these, and these jokes are horrible. <laughs> That's <laughs> you what? I just processed. Oh uh, shit! You just said. And like these guys are just unstoppable. Mm-hmm. And a more a majority of these super enhanced humans really didn't stand a chance. No, because even though they were enhanced, they were still dying. They, they were, gave them different animal species, mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. to combat the roaches. But different insects and shit like that. Like natural predators. Yeah, they're strong the as fuck, bro. Strong as fuck. But nah, roaches, undefeated because they can reproduce at an exponential rate. Mm-hmm. It's fucking crazy. Yep. Most of them live for almost a year. They can live for a year. Mm-hmm. And if, even if they lose, like, a source of food, they can live off of, like, paper and cardboard you know, and like it's some crazy shit. What up, cockroach? Jimmy! Hey, 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 hey. What's up, Jimmy? What's up? You got any sugar cubes for us, bro? Yeah, we hungry. We hungry, bro. Don't leave don't don't leave your food out yeah. at night, man. You'll hear us <laughs> yeah, scurrying on the fuck? counter. But crazy shit, like as much as a lot of people Happy Halloween, brother. Happy Halloween Happy to you. Happy Halloween, too, man. I hope you're doing something pretty cool. Hope you're doing something cool. But, like, I know, like, a lot of people kind of flinch at the fact that, you know, of having a roach infestation. Mm -hmm. But I found out that um, 68% of homes in the U.S. That's more than half. Is infested with roaches. That's more than so that. So motherfuckers be lying to y'all, acting brand new, yeah, acting yeah. like they ain't never seen a well, roach in their fucking like life. I, that's like when I see it. Like, like we are talking about before, that's like when I see it. Because roaches are like a... Me, uh, childhood scar for me so it's like when i see one in in the house in our in our production studio i'm like nah this nah, ain't happening this Burn ain't the happening house. yep this, this house, the house it's too clean there's no fucking way that this is happening. so do you feel dressing up as a roach is almost i guess a metaphor metaphor <laughs> like are you liberating your fear yes i am liberating my i people. have become my fear. look i have become my fear in order to let them nah, know nah, it feels me i would have dressed up as Fuck a maggot. Out. get out of my house get out of my house yeah i'd have dressed up as a maggot if if i was being serious oh hell so, no you well, wouldn't i would absolutely no, you fucking not wouldn't. absolutely oh, not no, you throw what, up fuck? I died. I died <laughs> cardiac arrest <laughs> what <laughs> instantly oh sorry buddy oh shit sorry buddy but yeah, so like, I don't know, I just think that's pretty interesting, like, when you look at, you know, how insanely unstoppable roaches are. I feel like roaches are the perfect, would you even call them a predator? Like, what are they? Scavenger? No, because they eat anything. Cause they do eat anything. Especially the African hissing cockroaches, they'll eat meat. That's crazy. And they're fucking See, Ain't huge. that the motherfuckers they was always eating on Fear Factor? And they're like this this big. No, yeah, they, they would do. they would not just eat it, but they would put them in it and tell them to stay in there for 10 minutes or five minutes. My man said, I don't know about roaches, but I got ants. No, <laughs> we got those too. Dog. But I'm more worried about roaches. I, no, honestly, I'd rather have ants. Yes, because roaches. ants, you can just, you can get rid of them quicker with right. roaches. Roaches be violating you. Not bro. just that. They leave their shit everywhere. <laughs> They, they, fuck, they fuck up your technology, Dog. and then they be having kids. Trust me, as someone, so you go from one to eight. As someone who's like, who who grew up 
around a lot of roaches and shit, like, you can kind of tell. Like, you go into someone's crib and you're like, motherfucker, you got roaches. I can smell that. Yep. <laughs> you, know, you knew what roach shit smelled you like. You know, you're like, motherfucker, I can smell that shit. What, though? You knew what, what? it smelled like. You're like, what the I fuck? No, you got roaches. Get yep. out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Not you, Jimmy. I know Not you don't yeah. know. You what? But honestly, I'd rather deal with ants. Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. It's it's There's a system to it. They're mm-hmm. organized. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. You see sure. a million ants, they're all in line. It's a hive mind. Right. They're all in single file. Mm-hmm. So you know exactly where the ants are and where they're coming from well you know remember when they got to the point where you know how we used to get those little plug-in things to scare the roaches oh they're bullshits because we saw it on tv what was it the as seen on tv as seen on tv it would send pulses we watched that bullshit on tv and it's like oh yeah it sends pulses so all the roaches (laughs) will like scatter Jeff, we pulled the plug, and then motherfuckers are climbing they behind the shit. to that shit because they like heat. Yes. That's why they'll you'll find them harboring in, like, electronics. Electronics, yep. Like, any heat source mm-hmm. near your stove, yep. your fridge, microwave, like, anywhere where electricity yep. or, or, or current runs through, you'll find uh, most of them. Same thing with water, heat, food. That's it. So, any location with water, heat, and food, you're going to find them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And this is through years of extensive... Suffering. Yes. <laughs> and it even got to the point. It even got to the point. What, what's going on? <laughs> Bro said, I went to a chick room in Tampa. She said, she has so many roaches. <laughs> but I drove that far to go back you home. You what? <laughs> Had to pat myself down before I left. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to break the oh, They just going to climb onto his door and get it by his house. Get your ride on that, bro. I feel fuck? it, man. What the fuck? You gonna bring their family members over and shit? What the fuck? That's crazy. (laughs) Yeah. No, that's some scary shit, man. Yeah. No, but remember, it even got to the point where, you know how roaches scatter when the lights are on? Right. Then motherfuckers just looked at you and went back. They just look at you. Uh huh. Can we continue? What the fuck? (laughs) What the fuck? Yeah, it was nuts, man. But yeah, so like, I don't know. I look at roaches and it's like they're they're the perfect. I guess. I don't want to say nemesis because they're not really a, 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 a an enemy to humanity, but yeah. it's like a good metaphor, a good metaphor for humanity. Oh yeah, for sure. That I agree with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't know. I was always maybe because of you know my experience with them and shit, mm-hmm. but I was always kind of fond of you know why roaches roached. Yeah. Why do roaches roach? So I kind of found something online that I was trying to play for you, um, and it was basically it gave that perfect example of what we were saying. Our star was doomed to burn out. We looked for a new place to live. Your plan. Hold on. It is perfect. Your son has arrives in two hundred thousand years. The planet is ready for new inhabitants. So you're saying they're coming in two hundred thousand years? No. They arrive tomorrow. What? Wave number zero. The biological attack. Did you prevent it? Or did it just fail? On the contrary. It worked very well. Mm -hmm. Our weapons are perfect. Yep. Once it reaches the planet, it starts spreading. Attacking all forms of life present. And you know what the... the It either destroys them or enslaves them. Mm -hmm. That is how we first got rid of the Earth's developed species. Mm -hmm. You mean us? You don't actually think that people built the pyramids and the underwater cities. What are you saying? Mankind itself is our weapon. There you go. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. What the fuck? You Imagine said, if we had like fucking roach bombs. And we're, we're the aliens. We're so, the aliens. So they said they built the perfect weapon. They are the weapon that they mm-hmm. built. They are the perfect. They invaded and they started spreading. Like what? You what? Roaches. 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 That's. <laughs> and that's that's kind of the that's kind of the metaphor that that. Yeah, that's kind of the metaphor that, that I was kind of trying to bring up or trying to show you before we started this. But it was basically that. So, literally, and that's why the whole other theory is we are the aliens. Mm-hmm. It always comes to mind because it's like we have the same DNA we just took away. It, it, it continues why? off with we have the same DNA we just took away your abilities. So, basically, we we are the, we, we are the, the perfect weapon to invade, spread, 
create, mm-hmm. um, get the planet ready, mm-hmm. all that stuff like that. So literally, um, it was the same thing in Doctor Who. He's like, humanity is a cancer on the universe because you guys spread and you destroy. Word. So you see what I'm saying? So that. that's why sometimes when we're on, on the show and we're having the conversation, I like that's to... That's true. Roaches don't do shit. They don't build nothing. No, they don't. They don't even build... They just mounds eat, or nests. Eat shit, impregnate themselves, and then have more babies. Wait, can't they like self-sex change? Yes, it? yes. So though, it's crazy. Yeah. Fuck. Yep. It's crazy as fuck. Really, really? There's so many contingency plans, yep. bro. Yes, That's sir. crazy. Headless, no food for a month, no water for a week. Uh-huh. I don't have to eat food. I could just eat paper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's that's pretty OP. That's a that's a high skill level right mm-hmm. there. That's a high skill chart. Yep. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah. So no, but like I said, though, besides them advancing and destroying and all that stuff like that. It's literally what they do. They spread and then it makes more. That's how come one roach can produce six to oh, eight. Fuck time. Yeah, six to eight roaches per 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 death, and mm-hmm. then those six to eight create. Six well, no, their eggs like. That's what I'm saying. Oh their yeah, eggs, yeah. Their eggs create six to eight, and then the sixty eight, six to eight multiply and create. In a week, you'll have like a thousand. A thousand roaches. So it's like right. you can't really escape. Right. You can't really escape that. And I know that that's a metaphor for humanity because it's like. We do spread. We infect every yes, single everything that we touch, too. everything that we get we into. We siphon off of all the resources. And yep, and then we keep moving. And then, and then it doesn't matter. Look, sometimes you'll be eating, and then it'll just go over your face. Violating, bro. Let no, me, let me let me let me smear some shit off my leg onto your. No boundaries, roaches be violating, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's crazy. That's, That's crazy. crazy, man. Yes, they be violating, bro. Yes, That's sir. crazy. So you could be chilling. You ain't never gone to someone's crib and just see a roach, and it's like you pretend you don't you see. You pretend it. everyone's <laughs> pretending. No, and it's just like this. <laughs> what is it? It's like this air of of I don't know shame. Like, not even shame. Like, are we all going to pretend to be crazy in this moment of time? <laughs> <laughs> like we just gonna act like we don't. No, nah, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna pretend we don't. That's do great that. because you don't want to be bad and be like, "Hey, there's a road. There's a road." Because here. everybody's gonna be like, "Yeah, you're right. I saw that." All right? Because you can be like, "Oh man, you dirty ass motherfucker. You stink." <laughs> Meanwhile, you got roaches in your house. <laughs> Acting like that, you don't have That's any at all. Right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like this air of shame. Mm-hmm. Roaches bring shame. They bring shame. Damn it! You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. It's just it's just such a funny. Roaches are a funny thing, mm-hmm. bro. As gross as they are, they're a really funny thing. Yeah. You know but, like I said, but it's still crazy to me how you can survive a nuclear blast, but right getting stepped on is. They can take radiation, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't we do that? Why don't we send roaches to other planets? So they don't mutate and become terraformers. But wait, the way those aliens used us as weapons, why don't we use the roaches as weapons? That'd be an amazing fucking weapon. Like, think about it, right? Like, let's say you freaking engineer, bioengineer a roach Mm -hmm. that secretes a freaking mucus... That gives you a disease or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then that roach multiplies. In a week, you got a thousand roaches that secrete this mucus mm-hmm. and disease. And you just drop that hole. That's the most silent. It's like a bomb, but it's without... The, like, that's crazy. They'll, they'll eat all your crops and everything. They'll eat all your crops, infect everybody, infect everything mm-hmm. with their feces, and da-da-da. But, like, I don't know. That could be a weapon. Roaches. Roaches, roaches, roaches. So, Jeff. Yes, sir. You meet any other roach ladies out there, man? You know. No? You don't hit them with the... Yeah, like I, I got my... have I, some... I got my antennas done so I can... have some sugar. Yeah, I'm trying to be like Rico Suave right now. So, you see how they, they, they got that. I'm trying to be a Dragon Ball Z character so bad. So. <laughs> super, super roach. <laughs> super roach Z, bro. Super Saiyan roach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ascending. I can fly now. What the fuck? The roaches with ri- wings? Uh, what the fuck? Shit. Oh no! Nah. Right. No, nah, that's how I know yeah. the devil exists. Yeah, he made them holes fly. <laughs> he made them holes fly. And then different species too. So that's true. Yeah, that's true. 
No, that reminded me of like Fear, Fear Factor, like when you brought up the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Mm. Like, how does that? Ugh. Like, I would have, I don't know, cooked it. What do you think a roach tastes like? No, you got deep fry that shit. Deep fry a roach. Yeah. Well, are we doing like panko batter? <laughs> Like, how are we doing this? We you know just what I'm like, we gotta, we gotta, we take, gotta add flavor. We gotta now. take this serious. You just gonna eat up? What the fuck? All right, if you had to eat a piece of shit to save the world, would you rather have it seasoned and cooked or just eat it raw? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? A piece of shit? You want me to eat the that? The stakes are high, dude. No, yeah, it's everybody, right. everybody. Dude, it's Fear Factor. What was the grand well, prize? Of you gotta look at it this dollars. way. Look at it this way. I'm a roach. I'm gonna survive anyway. Yeah, that's fair. Everybody <laughs> died with me. <laughs> that's facts. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's shit. facts. That's facts as hell. Yes, that's sir. facts as hell. I couldn't, I couldn't do yes, that. Yes, sir. But, um, no, I know we were having the conversation earlier. You were talking about um, the humanity aspect of of just the inv- invasions and stuff like that and how we... We we are similar to these creatures, but at the same time, we're we're quick to destroy them, and that that kind of is like a metaphor for right. Imagine what what happens when someone thinks we're roaches. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. What happens when something we're going to be a species that refuses to die only because we're, oh yeah, absolutely we're trying to save ourselves. That's that's like the double sided coin of humanity, mm-hmm. right? We refuse to die. Mm-hmm. If you let one live, it's 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 raps. It's raps. It's GGs. Yeah. Well, so. not just one, but, like, you need... You know what I'm saying? Like, intel. Unless we develop fucking test tube babies and shit like that. We're then a, we're a real problem. Cause, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you don't think that's going to be more like a controlled population instead of just... You know what I honestly think? No. I think once we proliferate throughout the galaxy, <laughs> the roach is going to be our first passenger. It's going to be yes, the first... Yes, The roach right. will be the first insect we introduce to any you're new right. plant planet or or terrestrial body like the fucking roach because it's like do roaches need to breathe i don't know do right? they breathe or do they breathe through their skin is that like i think they do because right. they don't have lungs like their skeleton no because i've i've seen like videos where they'll do experiments right and they'll send roaches into space and blast them with radiation and then they'll end up in this suspended animated state where it seems like they're dead but, like, once they came back down to Earth, a lot of them reanimated mm-hmm. and came back. So they just need to land more specific in order to continue doing what they It's doing. like the tardigrade. Or, or is it uh, as- a- atmospheric? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we need to Google why does... Because, like, out of everything that can't kill roaches, yeah. why does raid kill roaches? What's in raid that kills roaches? Well, that it kills all the the insects. Okay. Mostly. Ah, raid kills roaches by interfering with their nervous system. The active ingredient in raid roach killer is synthetic pyrethroids. Throids. Okay. And that fucks with pyrethroids. The These chemicals are neurotoxic and prevent the closure of sodium channels in the nerves. This stops all muscle activity, including breathing and heartbeat. Ah, okay. Wow, okay, it targets proteins. All right, all right, all right. So it paralyzes the roach's nervous system, which is why once you spray them, like, they magically just... So <laughs> it's not that they're dead, they just suffocate. They Right, they're paralyzed and then suffocate. Oh, that's, that's horrible. Damn. Oh, man, we need to start a petition for roaches. That's, yep. like, that's mean, cruel. They're killing all my cousins. <laughs> <laughs> all 78 million you what <laughs> <laughs> all 78 uh, million what the fuck oh uh, shit what the fuck yes sir that's crazy let me some water i'm getting thirsty that's crazy oh man i would i really want to know like what it would be like to have like life-size vermin they kill us you think so or meat well, no, because there's different versions, though. Of meat. No, 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 because German cockroaches don't eat meat. How do you know that? They're not giant life-size. Because it's on the internet. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> no, that's true. Okay, where have, when have you ever seen roaches on raw meat? It's usually sugars and carbs and oils and fats and shit. So then why did the 
No, no, Madagascar. That, that's a different. No, not species. the Madagascar. I was gonna talk about. Then why did the road from Men in Black not only drink sugar water, but he also ate? He was probably related to the roach, but not like a specific. Jeff, that's an alien roach. Like, how am I gonna assign a species to this? Thing? Well, he's giant. That's what I'm saying. If he was sentient, giant, and living with us, how do you know he wouldn't eat us? No, just if they're giant. Oh. You can still be giant and dumb. What the fuck was a dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fuck? Oh shit! You can be giant and dumb. Like that doesn't change anything. Yeah, that's why we you came know? in and uh, fucked them up. Who? I said that's why we came in and fucked them up. Oh, the dinosaurs. Humanity. Oh, we didn't fuck up the dinosaurs. I know. A big ass rock said, "Hey, through them. <laughs> y'all been chilling too long." That still blows my mind when I think about the the concept of a dinosaur. Mm-hmm. It's just like multi-ton like i mean like tens of tons of just straight muscle just straight muscle Mm -hmm. of just power little hands right and every time it walked the ground trembled that's crazy (laughs) that's crazy to me you know what i'm saying like every time it walked the ground trembled and you just had like millions of these motherfuckers just stomping on everything that's crazy that's crazy i understand why mammals were tiny you know what I'm saying? So you could hide in all the crevices and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I feel it. I feel it. That's just a scary concept. But roaches were big. Insects were big at that time as well, too. Yeah, yeah. Insects were huge at that time. And I do believe there Is it because were... because of the, car- the carbon? In carbon. The yep. Probably. Everything had to grow bigger. Because to get oxygen, you need... I mean... Right, 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 right. Because the carbon levels in the atmosphere were so high, mm-hmm. you had to be bigger... To you had to be either really big or really small mm-hmm. to have a sufficient amount of oxygen in your body. In your body. If you were really small, you didn't have to take big breaths to get as much oxygen That's as true. you needed. If you were huge, you know what I'm saying, the bigger you were, the harder it was to breathe because you needed more oxygen. more oxygen. So you needed to be bigger and of course you reach that equilibrium where any bigger and it becomes more efficient. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So well, they sense. so they were just all insanely massive. Same thing with trees. Well, no, trees were big because of the carbon. Carbon, yes. Right. Yeah. Trees were big because of the high levels of carbon, and they loved that shit, you know? Same thing with the oceans, when the oceans would release carbon and da-da-da and blah-blah-blah. Mm. You know So they're inefficient creatures that were mindless, so they said, let's restart again. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but they ruled for so long. Yeah, there was, like, different eras, but, like, just in general, what they were, like, in their entirety, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, it's just different. It's just different as hell. Like when you think about it. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? But aside from that, let's 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 get on some uh thinkage. Alright. Our thinkage going. All so right. yesterday we watched this uh video on levels of thinking. Holy shit. How did yeah. you feel about that? Right. Um Well, um it kinda gave me because it it's they said it's a theory. Mm-hmm. But, it's, theories, but, but yeah, they're generally. But accepted. from how I'm looking at it, it makes a lot of sense, because, like I said, for me, I'm like a level five or six heading towards a seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like the way I view life and the perspective um, on how I see human beings in general is completely different. Because think about it, I literally ask myself a question. And then wonder how that person's life is uh, is is doing, um, and asking myself that question, and then the direction that they would take. Like sometimes, when I was younger, I used to drive home. I'll give you an example, Work. just to make this easier. When I was younger, I used to drive home, and you know how you're driving home, you know your destination, you know where you're going. Right. I would try to, like, if I would pass by a vehicle or a person, I would look at that person and I would say, "What is that person thinking right now? Where's that person headed?" Why is that person speeding so fast? Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? What's their destination? What are they going to go eat? Mm -hmm. Like, I had thought processes like that. Like, I was was always curious as to try to figure out, like, what that person or those people were going to do in their daily lives. And it's like, my level of thinking, I always thought was weird. Because it's like, I, I don't dissect the way you do, but I dissect. Right, right, right. Like you go, you you break it down to the molecular level. I don't do that. I just kind of wonder what's going on in their lives to make them do what they do, 
be where they're at and understand what they um what what they are and um um why they are because um another example would be like um everybody has a different world perspective mm -hmm. some people's world views are correct and some people's world views are incorrect mm -hmm. but that person comes whether that person comes from a culture where the incorrect view that you have is correct is correct to them and the correct view that you have is incorrect to them mm -hmm. so um i know i use extreme sometimes but it's like i try to look at the different perspectives from both like separate my like you said separate yourself go outside your body go outside your body be outside your body look at um, like you're an outside observer observing look at both amorphous right. um humans right and then try to understand why they have the belief system that belief because you know how i always preached everything is a choice but then you came up with um where well in in the environment that they grew in in their mind they think that that is the correct right. choice right but if they understand the more uh the morality which might be different from others in the world then they can either choose to not do it anymore or they'll continue to do it mm -hmm. so that's kind of how i view the world every single day um which is why it's easy for me sometimes to say i just go to work to go home because i understand what my role is as a job i don't have to put any forth in ex in exponential exceeding ex exponential amount of energy right. to do the job that i need to do because nothing is going to change in that sense yes a promotion comes with it i understand that part but at the end of the day as long as i get it done in a timely manner it doesn't matter so why am i supposed to do extra or kill myself when everybody's doing the same it's right. it's a rat race Right. It's like I'm, I'm, it's like the blind leading the blind. What's mm -hmm. the point of doing it? Mm -hmm. If you see my potential and you want to take care of me, I, uh, I appreciate that. But if not, I understand what the job is. I'm going to continue to do it right. with a smile. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that. I really am content, happy, fine. I come to work to do my job and then I go home. Mm -hmm. I don't look at it any less because everybody wants to feel sad for because me. Because it's bigger than your job. Exactly. Everybody wants to feel sad for me, but it's like, I don't feel sad for myself, so why are you feeling sad for me? Right. So, you got to look at it from the outside in. If I'm not... You probably think you're coping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. And I really am okay. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't chilling, talk about right. it. So, it's like, right. every time somebody brings up the, the, the question, oh, why haven't you moved up yet? I'm like, be, that's, that's, be, because that's, that's a choice that they haven't made. Right. Or they found somebody younger or better. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I said I'm not an impressionable an, an impressionable person. I speak my mind. That's probably what they're not looking for. Word. So I'm okay where I'm at. If they right. move up, they move up. If they if I don't, if right. I move up, I move up. I'm right. not struggling. So the way I look at everybody's life and perspective, which is why I, I told you I like to hear conversations mm -hmm. between people. That's all I always ask. Yes. What is your reality? Exactly conflict you know what um, I'm he like, said he said amen uh conflict their understanding mm -hmm. there's always nuances to mm -hmm. the entire world mm -hmm. like i'll give you a perfect example the entire world sees of as a bad thing mm -hmm. or most of the entire world i wouldn't say the entire world mm -hmm. i say um, most of the world sees of as a bad thing but then there's a the 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 part the the nuance where there's some people that don't see it that way right it, it to them that's just their reality and how they perceive it and right. how they think they can get it and if it's not a long thing it, and at the end of the day you got to understand if it's not you if it's if it goes against your morals and beliefs that's that's okay that's okay that's fine but don't try to um implore or or put, assert your will uh, assert your, your will desires your wants. yeah to somebody else outside of yourself exactly because else. you're basically talking to a brick wall they're not going to listen to you they're right. going to continue to do what they do especially right. if they're making uh, a fairly good amount of money on it so it's like understand their reality yes you wouldn't probably date them or interact or, or do anything with them but to hear them and understand them because at the end of the day we are human beings right here. so it's like mm -hmm. that's that's me i come in from a neutral perspective because I, I don't like it when people say you need to choose sides. Because it's never personal. It's not. Right. It really isn't. There, it's, it's not that personal. Unless I, like, unless it's 
close to me and I care about it. Mm -hmm. Like, any interaction I have in the world is never personal. Like, I'm not... I'm not here to make you do something or make you like me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak from the person that I know who I am. And yeah. whether you like it or not. Exactly. Not everybody's going to like me. Yeah, and I'm not here for right. you to like me. Right. Or be liked. I'm so far outside myself. Like, I don't. Yes. Right. I'm not. It's, it's just beyond that. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to find more meaning than just colloquial shit yeah shit we just share within and ourselves I, and, 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 our and i think and i think that's what it is a lot of us are lost in the sauce where we're so eager to please the masses the people around us the outside perceiver the outside perceiver. that is not us yeah the social media right. aspect like we're we're most of us are trying to be somebody in mm -hmm. this world that we're willing to mm -hmm. sacrifice mm -hmm. whatever we need to do just to fit into whatever everybody perceives you know, as the norm. And you know what the saddest part about that? What? The person who's watching you the most is yourself. Is yourself. <laughs> exactly. You have a higher self that's watching you and like, judging you. and, and Like when just, he was a oh. perfect example, like when he was talking about level one and two where people are easily influenced by others. And then I gave you the example of the, the Salem witch trials. If right. somebody dubbed you a witch, everybody will, everybody believed it without any... Uh, it was hive mind, group thinking. Hive mind, right. group thinking, no actual evidence. Right. And then another perfect example was if we're looking at, let's say we're looking at our, our, social, our social media page, and on that media page it says, this person is bad. And then instead of doing a deductive problem solving skill and saying well let me do some research oh, and find man. out oh, it's, it's literally crazy. just this person's bad so this person's bad so all all of them are bad right so e every person associated with this person is, is bad, bad. Yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Oh man, that so, shit's amazing. So, and, and, and bro, and, I look like an emo roach, bro. Bro, he's Let me like, chill out. Yeah. Oh, my God. hey, hold on, I'm don't be, hey, hey, don't be doing that, man. You know, trying to look oh, better than me. I'm going through something, yeah. bro. You heard your oh, antenna's a mess. I, I had to. Mom, I didn't want to be a roach. <laughs> I wanted to be a rat. Oh uh, shit! You a... know, it'd be fucked up if we actually became our Halloween costumes. <laughs> you Why would what? you say that, Jeff? What? <laughs> you think I want to live like this? Hey, at least we can fly. No! <laughs> I'm flying into the sun. What the fuck? Uh, shit, your nervous system's going to freeze nah, before you get crazy. there. that's crazy. Absolutely Your nervous not. system's going to freeze before it gets nah, there. No, me turning into a roach yeah. now, it's over. Yeah. I'm, I'm going into a live crowded room so someone can step on me mm -hmm. purposefully. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? And I think, and I think that's, that's how... Um, Go, but going back to what I was talking about, they yeah, with the level one and two. So it's like it's it's that easy for them to get influenced, and like he was giving us the 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 um the uh, in the Roman period, and then he was talking about the the Pilgrims period, mm -hmm. all that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like he was giving us he was giving us years, kings and queens, kings and queens right. to modern day. How levels of consciousness and awareness. Yes as society as a whole starts to evolve, transcend or right, evolve right. and it's like he's like a lot of human beings are stuck on five and they can't get beyond that or and four. we reached five and we, just recently yeah. within the past 60 years exactly we reached five in the past 60 years but it's like beyond that nobody can get beyond that because nobody's nobody n no one is an independent thinker anymore right that's the only thing that sucks it's like Every, everything is all... I need to figure out the next trend in order right. to fit in. So right. it's like when you go on... They just react to things. Yeah, exactly. That's so it. perfect example... Um, they like, just react to stimuli. Yeah, so perfect example. It's like when Spider-Man uh, PS5 2 came out, everybody jumped on it. Everybody was making videos of it. And then they were dissecting it to the point where like, I got all the suits. I got all the spiders. These are all the videos. This is what you do next. Predictions on the next game. When is it going to come mm -hmm. out? So they're focusing on it because that's what everybody's jumping on. But if you had an algorithm like we use, it'll literally tell you what's being searched the most. And then that, that goes into the red because everybody is focused on it. So we try to create names, titles, and all that stuff like that. That's not focused on certain topics or things that we talk about. Like what's been going around around the world? 
we haven't brought it up once. Once, right. We haven't said the name. We right. haven't said the country. We haven't right. said the conflict. We right. haven't. What, what but else we on? see what's happening. We understand and, and we, we understand see what, what's yeah, happening. Yeah, we understand what's happening and we see what's right. happening, but that's not what we focused on. Because mm -hmm. a whole bunch of people hear bad news every single day. Mm -hmm. Why do they want it, us to add on to the bad news? Right. So it's, it's, that's, and, and that's another aspect of the level of consciousness where it comes in where people are like, oh, you're, you're this big content creator. This is what's going on in the world. You should do something. You should be talking Excuse. about this. And it's like, you should be using your platform to get the thing out there. And it's like, well, 100,000 other people that have YouTube are doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. What makes me any different? Right. You see what I'm saying? So it doesn't make any sense for me to jump on the bandwagon that everybody else is already on. You are getting 100,000 to whatever forms of the same content just from a different perspective, right. same similar videos. Right. And and, and I feel like we yeah. should speak on it when we feel like Exactly. If we're ready if somebody asks me around. the question, then I'll give a I'll give them my what I've observed mm -hmm. and all the knowledge I have on the history of that situation exactly and possibly what could happen in the future but to to make but i can't prescribe a solution yes because right now the only solution would just to be stop well, well my understanding of that too is it's like when you do get asked that question mm -hmm. the first thing they want to know is well how do you feel about it and it's like if if the answer that you say they does don't not satisfy does them. not satisfy them, then that's what you're brings, an enemy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what brings in an argument. It's like it doesn't have to be an argument. You asked me my opinion on the subject, mm -hmm. I gave you my answer, but because it makes you but everything self centric. Yeah, but because right. it makes you feel some right. type of way, or it doesn't um, align with your ideologies, you're gonna get upset at right. me for that. You asked. They I can't gave, see outside themselves. Outside themselves, right. and I think that's the thing. Uh -huh. I always look at it that way. Like I said, I don't. Other people's decisions are influenced by this, the decisions they believe they would make and why they would make it. And exactly. also why they feel uh, on how they feel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it doesn't al uh, align with how they would perceive themselves mm -hmm. giving that response. Then you're wrong. Fuck out of here. Yeah, then you're wrong. Yeah. So I, I don't. And, and that's why. That's why every single day, like the entire month of October, all we've done is Halloween content for you guys to enjoy because it's something different and it keeps your mind off of thinking about what's going around, mm -hmm. uh, what the two wars that are going on. It's not to say turn a blind eye to it. Yeah, I'm not like, turning a blind eye. It's just right. negative news is every single day. I wouldn't read news. I'd read up on history. Exactly. So when you turn on, on when you turn on the the history. news or 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 YouTube. Or anything like that, it's always negative news, and right. I, I people don't want to hear that all mm -hmm. the time. If it, I hear a news story that rubs me the wrong way, I'm gonna go do research. I'm gonna go not look up the story, but look up. Well, I'd look up the story, but it's still written by a journalist who has a frame of reference that they want to uh, promote to you. Yeah. But aside from that, I would also look up the history. Of the peoples, the location, mm -hmm. certain similar events that happened in that area, you know what I'm saying? Look at stats and shit like mm -hmm. that, so I could understand a complete picture, and then I form my opinion. But not that person does bad thing. Mm -hmm. I hate them. They deserve to die. Yes, and we have no idea what other person has Only, done. Only, like I said, if you go off your feelings right. instead of looking at it from a logical perspective, then that's going to be the right. issue. So what did Jimmy say? Jimmy says, have you guys seen stream farms? They set up farms of phones that watch videos for reviews to push algorithm. That's nuts. I didn't know that. Hmm. I know that I've, I've seen that on TikTok. No, I've, I've never. I've seen that on like TikTok lives mm -hmm. where it's like the host will have multiple people on the stream. Same thing with uh, Instagram lives. Mm -hmm. The host will have multiple people on the stream and it's all the same person. It's all the same person in the... So they'll create multiple accounts, follow a whole bunch of people, like mm -hmm. do like some bot farming type shit, yeah, follow yeah, a whole yeah, bunch yeah. of people, and then they'll start a group live and invite every single one of those fake channels that they had mm -hmm. into that group live. So they can get more... So you get what I'm saying? So they can so get... So like, I make a fake page, mm -hmm. and then I make another fake page. Mm -hmm. 
And then a thousand people follow me on this page. Mm -hmm. A thousand people follow me on the other page. So when I go live on this page, I just invite my fake page. Ah, uh, on that live. On that live. So you can get another body on Another, there. right. And I then feel it. other thousands and thousands. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, you know what I'm that. saying? Once you, hey, what I was saying? Once you figure out what system you're working with, mm -hmm. it's easy as fuck. Yeah. Everything is just a system. Yeah. You just got to deconstruct it. Of course. No, I mm -hmm. agree with that. Um, but I would say um, uh, moving forward with the... With a one through nine scale, I'm 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 literally at a, uh, at a six. Um, trans probably gonna take me another five six years to get to seven. But you say I might do it earlier, um, just to I, I I look beyond myself mm -hmm. and two two people having a conversation, wondering what they're thinking and how they can solve the issue without me necessarily mm -hmm. interjecting myself in the middle. It's more of a that's Can't. the thing where I'm having a conversation. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's, 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 that's necessarily what I'm sorry. That's, I that's basic. That. <laughs> your ADHD. Yeah, I got to no. stop that, boy. That's yeah. crazy to me. And then, like, I I know it's happening, too. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is about But you got to get it out before you forget. Right. It, I know that shit's happening. Mm -hmm. But it's like, for me, when I'm in a conversation, I feel like I'm on autopilot, and then I'm listening to myself talk to the other person. Yes. But I know what the fuck I'm saying to the other mm -hmm. person. I don't know. That's just some weird-ass shit. Well, like I told you, too, like, when I'm having a conversation with a person, especially a person with an issue, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll I'll have a conversation with myself, man. If I, if I respond with this answer, they're either going to say this or they're mm -hmm. going to say that. And it's like, right. people are looking at me like I'm... Mm -hmm. crazy probably saying this on live but it's like that's how i think right. it's not that i'm not listening to you i'm in, in my brain is in, uh, understanding everything that you're saying mm -hmm. but um for me i just step outside myself have a conversation and it's like okay i see your situation but if i respond with this answer you're going to get two outcomes and if i respond to that answer you're going to get a, a specific outcome mm -hmm. and that's literally how i have i have a conversation with people it's like um like you said, when we drive, we're very self-aware because we look 10 steps ahead mm -hmm. to understand which way we're maneuvering. We're trying to predict the future. Exactly. We're trying to predict the future and, and, and say, oh, that car might move to the left, so I can go to the right. Or that mm -hmm. car might move to mm -hmm. the right, so I can go to the left. So it's like the same way I have conversations with people is the same way I, I do it with um, within. The same way I do it within traffic is the same way I do it with conversations with people because you always try to predict the direction or the conversation, or conversation will, go. will go. Right. And it's like, damn, am I alone in this? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I, I would understand, like, if the higher up you go in levels of awareness, mm -hmm. yes, you'd feel a lot more alone. Because, like, um, like you said, it's like the whole, it gets lonely. you see all the elephants in the room. You see all the elephants in the mm -hmm. room all the fucking time, and you just got to ignore it and then focus on, okay, this is the level we're operating mm -hmm. at. We're operating at a level four. No one's trying to talk about the fucking air pressure in the room and how the temperature changed because of X, Y, Z. Yep. You know what I'm saying? No one's thinking about, oh, you know, wow, I can see my pores secreting <laughs> blah, blah, blah. No one wants to talk about that Sweat shit. Sweat glands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no one wants to talk about that shit. They want to talk about regular sports, the weather, the day, shit that's bothering them. Humanity. You know what I'm saying? Regular shit. Yeah. You know? So, like, I always have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I always got to keep that in mind. Because sometimes if somebody says one thing, it'll trigger a happy response in you where you'll start talking about. And then I'll run off. Yes. And right. then they're going to be like. What, what I wasn't that. that and, the, and like, they'll you say what? something. That I'm super interested in. But for them, it was just like a part of the... It was just a basic conversation. Right. It was part of the... Point. Yeah, talking point of mm -hmm. the... And then they'll say, and in my mind, like, I'll get ahead of myself. I'm like, man, this person's been doing extensive research on this mm -hmm. fucking topic. So let me, so let me just dump all this bullshit. Let me break bullshit. it down for you. Yeah, let me just dump all this bullshit on you. It's just like, nah, I'm not trying to do all that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so like... So you gotta hold, hold yourself back. I gotta hold myself you find back. find somebody that actually right. wants to listen. I can't just, like... I don't know, because... It just sounds crazy because I, you know. Yeah, I feel it. Like from the outside, I know it looks crazy because mm -hmm. I can see myself looking crazy in front of this person <laughs> <laughs> talking about all this shit uh -huh. they don't know or That's don't care. That's why sometimes you'll stop yourself. I'll just stop. I'll just be like, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or like I'll remember, okay, we're not operating on that level. Mm -hmm. Let me bring it back down. And then I'll just end it off with like, yeah, so pretty much I'll give them a layman's term and then I'll just dead it. Dead it. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. Like, I'll be like, yeah, such and such 
does this because of this. And then I'll break it completely down. And it's like I lost them after I got to the first example. Yes. So I was just like, and then I got to give them, I'm not going to say a dumb example, but I just have to explain it in such a vague, broad term. And then use like, I don't want to keep using the word dumb because no one is dumb. They just don't. That's why I always say there's no such thing right. as a stupid question. Right. It's just a question that's never been asked. Right. Just a question that hasn't been asked and they have not yet learned how to articulate their thoughts and their feelings yes. to certain situations. I agree. But they are feeling those feelings. Mm -hmm. We could both feel the same feelings, but I will break it down, rationalize it, and look at predictions on how me reacting this way is going to end up versus me not reacting this way, how it's going to end up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then I weigh those options, you know? And then I also deconstruct, okay, this is what happened in my life to why I feel like the, uh, uh, this way in this scenario. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's irrational. I know it's irrational. I understand it's irrational. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this is how I feel. Mm -hmm. But now I know why I feel that way and I can take steps to not let the, the, the side effects, the negative side effects of me being in this state of mind affect other people. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Especially because they don't want you to make them feel like they're stupid. Right. So sometimes they'll, um, uh, is pander the right word? Not pander. Um, sometimes they'll cater to you and pretend that they know what you're talking about and then they'll continue saying yes, yes, yes. And right. Know, like, but I'm not... You're, you're, you're at a level of awareness where you're like, I know I'm, he doesn't understand what I'm saying. And, and she, it's okay. She, and it's like, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be mad at you. Yeah. Like, you know, I just wish you would ask me, like, what does that mean? What is that? Da, da, da. Like, I don't Because mind. they think if you ask them, then, then that means they're I'm stupid. never going to shame you. For, you know what the happiest thing in my life is? Asking when I me meet someone who doesn't know nothing, who don't know shit. Yeah. When I meet someone who has no idea of how certain things work, that's the wow. best part. Yeah. Finally, I can use this wasted time of collecting <laughs> knowledge to do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, to make someone's life easier. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to do with my knowledge, mm -hmm. with my time, to learn shit. Yeah. You know? So it's just like, it's just that type of shit. Levels of, you know, self awareness. Self awareness, yeah. And I know I'm not at the apex. And I always. Look at myself, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I always tell you, I'll sit back and I'll feel like I think about the moments in my life that I remember the most, mm -hmm. but I can never remember the moment I stopped feeling like that or thinking like that. Yeah, like you said, every stage of your life felt like you were it's a, different a different person. person. Like, you, I can remember those thoughts, mm -hmm. but that is a different Different being. person, yeah. Because who I, then that's, I think that's where the saying, who I am 10, 20, 15 years ago is not who I am right. now. Because literally, you were a different person. Right. So, the, when they say, oh, we grow as people, now you understand what that means. They're literally meaning you grow as a person. Mm -hmm. You are a completely different person. Who mm -hmm. I was at 20 is not who I am. Who I was at 23 is not who I am now at 33. Right. And the same thing goes for when I'm 43. Mm -hmm. And the same thing goes for when I'm 53. Because what I learn and the knowledge that I am learning, uh, the knowledge that I am gaining throughout my life, if I have, uh, if, if by grace they, I live that long, mm -hmm. um, is completely different so it's like this is going to be a when i leave my 30s and, hit, and go into my 40s it's going to feel like an entire different life right for me because it's not going to feel like but oh, you won't know when you start feeling exactly different. exactly like it's not, it's when your like, mindset just bam like you could just wake up one day and just you're thinking differently but you don't realize you're thinking differently yeah. only when you look back on it you're like okay i'm thinking differently mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And it's like how I told you, um, since I was in high school, I've been writing letters to my future self mm -hmm. um, every five years. Yeah, I remember you told me that. Yep. Because I remember uh, that's something that Mr. Beast did too. Because like, cause for me, I, I experience my life as one complete body. And I know my future self exists. Exists. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So... I would like to read what I wrote myself and yeah. how I was thinking and what my outlook on life was mm -hmm. and 
why or did were, I believe these things? Or where you were at, right. at the time. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, Versus how much I knew at the time. Yeah. What I expected from life. You know? And I do that every five years. I'll open the letter. So I'll write a letter to myself five years into the future. I'll tell them the exact point in time, what has happened in my life. And, and you still do that? Yep. That's what awesome. my goals, uh, my next... Set of goals are uh, my next. The next time I read it will be. Or did you read? I started in 2012, mm -hmm. 2017, 2022, uh, 2027. That's the next time I'll write a letter to myself. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's when I'll read my letter from 2022. That's awesome. Right. That's you awesome. know what I'm saying? And yeah. of course, 2022 included everything from COVID. So everything that happened from 2017 to just after COVID, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's in the thing. And I don't know where we're going to be in 2027. That's true. Next thing, you, COVID's just a blip at this point. Now. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like it was. feels like it was a blip. Time. It yeah. was the whole world, but now it's just a, a blip. Blip. And we lived through it, but it felt like it went by real quick. Mm -hmm. In the moment, no, but no, nah, it's done. In retrospect, it's just Yeah, like, it's just like quick. That was bad. Oh, shit, man. Bad shit. You know, it's just levels of awareness. Yeah. And, it, and it goes for the same thing. That's why I always tell people, bro, man, learn new words. I'm not saying go read a dictionary. Like, yeah. don't be a fucking nerd. You know, but like, learn new ways to express your thoughts. Mm -hmm. and it was like I was explaining to Jeff. I could use a word to describe an entire concept instead of saying the entire concept in the sentence. Yes. That's literally what words are. You know what I'm saying? They just... Help you describe your human experience mm -hmm. more concisely and clearly. Instead of using going about it the long way. Right. Yeah, I feel it. Instead of trying to use figures of speech. Usually when I know I'm talk I'm speaking to someone uh who's not as self aware or self conscious as I am, I find myself using layman's terms, breaking things down in concepts and ideas. But if I'm talking to you or another type, a scholar type of person or someone who's who's has technical, critical thinking skills, yeah, I can use the word get my point across. I feel it. I can string a whole bunch of ideas and form a new idea. Mm -hmm. uh, form a whole bunch of concepts and then form a new idea. idea. I feel it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah. You can come up with bullshit too. Yep. Always. Transhumanistic tendencies. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Like the easiest way to put all of us in one box instead of you know separating us. Yeah, transhumanistic tendencies. That's crazy. Where we can be anything we anything want. Anything you want to be, exactly. You can be Which is why instead of like want. we said like we talked about, instead of separating it all in categories, it's saying transhumanism is all of it. It's all of it. All of it. This umbrella term that everybody calls right. it in, in today's society is just transhumanism. Be whatever you want. And then we're not even just talking about sexuality. Anything nope. you want. Yep. Whatever the fuck you want to be. We're going to reach a point in time. You want to be a cyborg? Go ahead. Be a cyborg. Yeah. Look, cyborg. we're roaches. We want to be roaches. roaches. We became roaches. <laughs> you want these antennas? You can get them. I'm you telling you. You got these. Well, not that. that. That man has crazy antennas, man. No, my shit's crazy. Uh, Dark-skinned dark roaches. You know how dark they are. Skin. You know, like, oh, boy, we grimy, nigga. Right. What? Yeah. We grimy. <laughs> you got to do, do the Drake face, Jeff. You got to do the, the selfie. You got to do the duck face. <laughs> oh, man. No, shit. I'm dead. Yes, All right, man. I'm starting to sweat in this bitch. In you the, are? Yep. I'm the, not. And the vein on my forehead popping out. Well, yeah. you got to understand, Jeff. You sweat for nothing. I got no shirt under this costume. <laughs> <laughs> he free balling. <laughs> I got no shirt under uh, this costume. Man. So man. this fabric is sticking to my skin. Oh, no. I got a shirt under this costume. Oh, oh. And I'm hot. Oh, this is terrible. This no, feel like a get... sauna suit. You remember when we had them sauna suits, bro? 
<laughs> Going in that bitch looking like the fucking sumo. Oh yeah, what bro, we were sweating so bad. That was crazy. And then, and then the the trainer at the gym said, "You guys don't need to wear that because you stop your skin from breathing." Right, <laughs> dog. That's crazy. We're gonna end up like fucking wrinkled prunes and shit, like some dates. Right. What the fuck? Right. Look like some dates. All right, man. All right, guys. Thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word. No, one, 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 one Word. One Word. One Word. Tabletop <laughs> Topics. Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it will take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Thursday. By the way, we also have all our other videos in 13 different languages. So anybody that listens to us across seas... Go ahead and check it out. If our videos have the double C's on them, the closed captioning, that means you can listen to it in one of the 13 various languages that we put up on there. Double but C's. guys, Coco Chanel. thank you. We'll see you on Thursday. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Light skin power. Oh, wait, wait. Goki booty. Goki booty. Goki booty. Goki booty. Goki booty. <laughs> <laughs> if that even goes into the end, which oh name? right, cockroach calisthenics. Google it, Google it. I need to get the whole world on this. Yep, was a meme like five years ago, right? I think so. Yeah, cockroach calisthenics. All right, y'all. See you. See.